Howdy folks, look, I understand that TikTok is sort of catered to you and the things that you enjoy, so I know that I've brought this on myself. There's no one else to blame, I've brought the cringe upon myself, go ahead, take me away. I've said before that TikTok is a wasteland, but honestly it must be me at this point. Because now there is an entire side of TikTok judging a man for the rhythm that he uses while he does the do. The beast with two backs, the magic mamba, mostly because of his song choice, and honestly, I can see both sides, it is kind of a bop. Okay, it's not horrible, but let me give you the rundown. It all started with one of those text-to-speech Reddit videos, which as we know, is the finest content on the internet. Today I messed up. My girlfriend of two years told me the music that I play while making love is weird and a major turn off. He explained that he wasn't the best at the two-headed grinder when he first started out, so he went out and did some research. He read that you should use some music to keep a rhythm, and that's fair. It's the old CPR trick, and it works both ways. Staying alive will always save the day. So when I first saw this, I thought he meant the beat, you know? Because that would make sense. I thought he meant something like 100 beats per minute, whatever it breaks down to. But either I misunderstood or TikTok did because then came the humps. It's a trend at this point, and you'd think that either I or TikTok would get tired of it, but no. But I don't think we should bully the guy over this. There's nothing wrong with him putting in a little bit of effort. He researched, he found something that he vibed with, something he could work with, and he let his freak flag fly, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The lovely folks over on TikTok are pretty amused, but also feel really bad for the girl involved in the scenario. The one being loved up on to this sick beat. And she didn't say anything about how she felt about it for two years. Two whole years she kept quiet about this. Two years of just... Though he did say rhythm in the original post, I think he might have meant the beat. Because how do you keep up with this? That's just not sustainable. Look, there's a couple of morals to the story here, all right? One, which I think is the most obvious, if you don't like something that somebody's doing in the chicken coop, let them know. Just give them a heads up, say, hey, that's not really for me. That should definitely be normalized, for sure, for sure. Just don't keep it to yourself. And two, why are we talking about this man's humping habits? He's kind of a champ. He admitted that he didn't know what he was doing. He did the research, he made a change. I think good on him. I say more power to you and thank you for sharing your story, sir. But there is a sad ending to the story. He kind of ruined their relationship. Maybe not entirely him. Maybe a lot of it was us, the internet, TikTok. I mean, we really let the thing blow up. He posted again on Reddit and said, maybe, possibly, I messed up and should have used a throwaway account or a fake name at the very least, because this is way too recognizable of a story to anyone in his close circle. And that's exactly what happened. His girlfriend's sister recognized it and went straight to her parents. And that's embarrassing enough. They're young, now their parents know what they're up to, but the absolute worst part, the cherry on the gravy, they recognized the song. Him him and his girlfriend and the parents discussed his weird music tastes at the dinner table where they were introduced to the song. So now they know. That's, that's rough, buddy. So since he revealed all of this intimate info about his relationship, it ended. Unfortunately, poor guy. And I felt really bad in general because people were kind of judging him for this. But then they started judging him for other things, like all of the old comments on his Reddit profile. Now I'm not gonna go super into detail about all of the problematic breadcrumbs that he's left over the years, but people over on Reddit have found it and they're not too pleased. At the end of the day, we all do the do the way we do. And I think you should continue to do you, or at the very least, the way your partner wants you to. But hey, I guess I'm just old fashioned. If you like seeing my face, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And thanks to all you lovely people that have come and joined us on Twitch. Just remember, if you hop in the comments, you can be a dick to me, just don't be a dick to each other.